Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design steel connections using RAM Connection Standalone. RAM Connection Standalone is used for the design and detailing of steel connections and it can design individual shear, moment, brace, splice, and truss connection types to a variety of different steel design codes. In this particular video, we're going to be focusing on the workflow for assigning a through plate connection to a beam to column joint for the purposes of resisting a shear reaction. We will now turn our attention to our RAM connection standalone application where we will be assigning a through plate connection template to a beam column joint. Now in order to use the through plate connection templates, your column must be a hollow structural section. It could be either square, rectangular, or circular. For this particular exercise, we're selecting joint number four. Now in this sample model, joint number four has a wide flange beam flaming, framing into a round HSS column. This connection also has a shear reaction imposed upon it. To start the connection process, we'll select the design tab in the ribbon toolbar, and then we'll click on the assign icon. Now the through plate connection template is only available through a basic connection workflow. For that reason, we'll go ahead and select basic connection, and then we'll select the TP connection type. This is for through plate. Once we've selected our connections database, let's go ahead and click on the assign button and we'll see that a shear connection has now been assigned to the currently selected joint. In the joint selection area, we will be able to see the status of this connection design. For this particular connection template, our status is less than 1.0. For this particular connection design, our interaction ratio is less than 1.0 and it is indicated in green, meaning no errors or warnings were encountered through the design process. If you would like more information on this particular connection template, let's go ahead and click on the edit icon and then shear connection. This will bring up the connection pad for the currently selected joint. From here, you can review the DXF drawing of this connection, the full results report, and you can also modify some of the parameters for the single plate connection, including the plate thickness of material, the bolt information, and also the weld information. Here you can see we have a variety of different parameters we are able to assign. Since this connection template passed all code checks with no errors or warnings, I'm going to close out of the connection pad without making any changes. I'm going to save my model, and this concludes my process for assigning a through plate connection to a beam column joint when the column is a hollow structural section. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.